How's it going, GB fans? I got me brew, and it's time for a review. Getting all the swig of this. Oh, it's blinding. So, recently we had a poll on Facebook to see which one of these I review first. And we got two for Eduardo and two for Roland. So, so much for spreading my content out, because now we're going to review both of them. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to start with Eduardo, because... His name starts with an E, that's, that's my logic, that's what I'm going with. So, let's get him open and have a look-see. So here we have Eduardo's Blasting Buster bike. Um, I'll tell you, the detail on the bike itself is pr it's pretty awesome. Like, the, the real, the chrome looking textures, it's all made out of plastic now, it's not heavy at all. But, um, we'll go through the bike now in a minute, there's a few things it can do. Um, as for Eduardo, he's just your bog standard Eduardo. Comes with the standard figures, except for this blaster, some sort of hand solo looking thing. Even though on the box it says it's red, but you know, I think the black one looks better with this figure. So he's just bog standard Eduardo, nothing, uh, nothing new about him. It's the bike that we want to look at. So let's have a gander up close and personal. Well, actually, we'll stick him on the bike first. I'm sure you want to see that. Right, there we go, we got Eduardo, I'm a scientist, man, on his bike. He actually fits, well, you know, he doesn't fit too well, because his legs don't reach the bottom. Um, but all in all, he does, he does stay on it when you're pushing it around, and it, it, it moves pretty smooth, like, the, like the, the mechanics are all in there. It doesn't go by itself, you have to push it. Um, you have to bear in mind, I've only got one hand free, because I'm filming with the phone. So, it's not going to be huge in depth, but... Uh, this, if you push this down, these two are supposed to pop up like machine guns, but for some reason, it it's stuck. I don't know what it is, maybe mine's just faulty or something. But it's one of those, like, if you're really going to push it, it feels like it's going to snap off, so I'm not going to manhandle it and break it, you know, but I, that's what they do come out for, so. Uh, as for this bit, this little lever here, which is attached to this, this has a net in it. And it pops out, springs out, supposedly trying to catch a goat with a, an ecto net, or whatever they call it. So I'm going to test it here and see if it works. So you push the thing down. And, hey, there he goes. Well, there you go. That's what um, that's what pops out from his uh, back of the bike. Pretty cool. So let's fix him and we will check out Rolando. Now we have Rolando with his ghost grabbing gyrocopter. And he doesn't look very pleased. Well, I wouldn't be pleased either if I had to carry a massive helicopter slash proton pack on my back. And we all make sure it's made in China. So let's have a quick look at him. I'll try not drop him. Yeah, okay. So there's not really much going on with this pack. It's it's a crazy art design anyway. Pretty, very unique. So these move up and down just for Roland to hold on to. Uh, these pegs pop out so he can stand with the pack. This little gyro moves the, the crane so you can pick up ghosts while you're flying. And this big red button is what helps the propeller spin. So we'll give that a little go here. So, yeah, that's all in all. That's about it. He doesn't come with any ghosts, which is a shame because it kind of the crane feature is kind of obsolete then. But he's the only one that actually had a variant color, and I'll get the other ones for a comparison right now. Now we have the the three different variants here. We got the the bog standard Roland, the one that didn't get a fan fest invite. You can tell by his face, not a happy chappy. And then we got the deluxe Roland, who's pretty much the same sculpt, just different color. He's all in red. So there you go. That's um, that's all the extreme GB single vehicle figures. Anyway, I was kind of hoping that they would have got to Garrett by the end of the toy line, but obviously he never came out. So. Unfortunately, we'll never get to see that figure, but all in all, I enjoy the Extreme Ghostbusters toy line. I might do more reviews if I get my hands on more loose figures. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for interacting on Facebook. All the shares and likes, very appreciated. So, peace out, GB fans. Laters, alligators.